Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. Welcome to another Adobe Premiere tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do video editing for Instagram using Adobe Premiere Pro. This is actually really simple and it's going to help you make top-notch Instagram videos. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to start a new sequence. We're going to go to file. You could also do it in the bin, but we're going to go to file and we're going to do a new sequence so that you can make the proper video frame size for Instagram. Now I've already made an Instagram preset called Instagram post, but let's just say that I hadn't done that. I could go up here to custom and I would make this 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. So it's a one to one aspect ratio and then I don't really need to do anything else and then I can save this preset which I've already done so that's how we would go about this so I can just go ahead and use my Instagram post preset and we'll just call this Instagram video 02 all right so I have my new Instagram video and you can see that it is uh, a square here and that's pretty much exactly what we need it to be. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I can go ahead and open up a video in my source window. In this case, I'm already doing that. I'm using a uh, video footage from a speaking engagement I did in Jacksonville. And the ideal length for an Instagram video right now, according to the research that I've done, is between 20 and 50 seconds. In 2017, we have the ability to upload up to 60 seconds of Instagram video, but between 20 and 50 seconds is good, uh, and so you'll want to do that. So what I can do is I can just pick out any section of my video here. I've already set uh, a section up, and we have um, the input and output selected. So we got about 45 seconds of video here. So I can grab this, I can put it in my timeline, and it's gonna ask me, if I want to keep my existing settings or change my sequence settings to match this clip, I'm gonna keep my existing settings because I need to bring this full size vertical video into um, my frame here. So I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna scale this down until it matches my frame here. And so you see I have this top and bottom, so I have this widescreen video. Now, you could make this a square, which Instagram prefers if you've shot your video and you've set it up that way. I'm here on a stage, so it's actually better for me to go wide than to try to get a section of the video and to shift it around and do all of those things. But you can go either way with that. The beauty of this is we get the opportunity to put text above and below this. Now. In the event that, let's say, you wanted to actually uh, set this up to where you have, um, maybe you have you want a different background color here, you can go ahead and do that. And then on the video side, we can go to our bin and we can create a new object. We can go ahead and just make um, a color mat. And let's just go ahead, because this is Instagram, let's do something clever. Let's go ahead and make a purple color mat and we'll just call this purple. We'll drag that onto the video uh, track one below that, and you can see we get our purple mat there. And again, we can change this, you know, in settings to anything we want. And then we can go ahead and we can use the new text tool here, and we can go ahead and can set up text. We can call this Instagram video editing sample just because we're being literal here and if I go over to my effect controls you know I can edit things with this text I can make this whole thing center if I want to and then I can go ahead and, and just do another text frame down here uh, making videos is pretty simple and let's just uh, make this center also and you can see that we have our Instagram video here now in terms of this text I'm just gonna drag that out on video layer 3 to make it consistent with our video and I'm going to mute this so that we don't have to deal with it while we're editing but you can see as I scrub through that all of that is consistent so from here, you can do any basic editing. If you wanted to do multiple clips, you would do it the same way you do anything in Premiere Pro, but the easiest thing is to just take 
you know, a couple of seconds of footage of something you want and to edit it. Now the last thing we have to do is export. I'm going to go ahead and use Control M and go to the export here. So now you need your export settings for your Instagram video. Uh, in this case, I usually just use 10 and 10 and VBR past one. And if we want to make this a consistent thing, no problem, we can make this a, a preset as well. So this is gonna be a preset called Instagram video. And just remind us that it's 1000 by 1000. And now we have a preset so that anytime we wanna make an Instagram video, we absolutely can do that and it's really simple. So we'll just export that. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to get this over to your mobile device for Instagram. If you're in an Apple workflow, then you can use uh, Apple AirDrop to do this really simple. If you're not in an Apple workflow, then what I typically do is use Google Drive and then download that to my mobile device and upload to Instagram and then you're off to the races. So that's it. Now you have a very simple way to edit professional looking Instagram videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I've really actually gotten back into doing more of the software tutorials. Uh, so definitely make sure you're subscribed and staying tuned for that. Also, what tutorials would you like me to make in the future? Do you want more things doing video editing here in Premiere Pro? Do you want Photoshop stuff? Do you want me to look at some other software? Let me know in the comment section. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome stuff on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today. Take care.